Hello folks, welcome back. In this page we're going to do the view cart page or the view basket page. I always get mixed up with baskets and carts and whatnot. You can call it whatever makes you feel good. And those of you with an eagle eye will notice that I've got Amazon up the top here. I've been playing around, kind of seeing how the big boys do this type of thing and I'm just going to keep that in mind as we build this stuff, okay? Now folks, this is slightly embarrassing, but there was a little mistake in the last video that I made. It's nothing major, but I'm gonna just fix this right now, if that's okay. Um, let me just close all of this rubbish. That was me faffing about. And if you could open up store basket, if that's cool, okay? And open up the vibe that was the thing about, you know, getting the data. Do you remember that? Fetch the data, okay? And we had a vibe where we had price is item price times item quantity. This was a mistake. It should have actually just been the item price, okay? Uh, it doesn't matter too much, but later on down the line, we could run into problems when we're integrating with uh, payment gateways and whatnot. So I apologize for this error, little simplification. That's what we need, okay? Right, so that's us. Let the lesson begin. So, previously, you'll remember that we had a vibe going on where we could add things to the cart like so, and it would say, well done, okay? And if they make a mistake and they do that, then it does that. Now, obviously, that's functional, but it doesn't look too cool. So, let's sort that out, right? I'm going to go to this store basket thing and you see where things are uncool and we've got validation errors. Now normally when we do validation errors we can, well up until this point it's all been happening on the same module, do you know what I'm saying? Um, and I, you know in this case I want to direct them back to the items page, do you know what I'm saying? So the, the normal validationalistic vibes will not work in this instance. So here's what we're gonna do. Stay cool, it's gonna be just fine. Do you remember the vibe where we had refer URL? It's all over the place, right? And it looks something like this, okay? Let's get that refer URL thing in here. So now we know where, where they came from, right? And do you remember also, if I open up a uh, store items, do you remember, do a search for successfully, right? And we've got this flash data stuff everywhere here, okay? This is how we do flash data, right? Well, here's what we can do, and this is very, very cool indeed, right? We can take those normal validation errors, here they are, right? And we can turn them into a, a message. So we can say something like error message equals validation errors, right? We can even format the thing in any way we like. I'm going to just do paragraphs with red text, okay? Nothing fancy. It's what we've been doing, nice and consistent. And then we can uh, basically do something like this. And into the flash data, we will pass in our error message. And then we're going to redirect to the refer URL. How cool is that, right? So all we need to do now is just have a quick look at store items. I'm gonna to go to view, and I can see that we have some flash data. That's excellent news. And if we go to store items and then go to that view.php, all we need to do is just jump in and say if is set flash, then echo, flash. So do you see what's happening folks? It's form validation, but in this instance the validation errors are being passed into, uh, well they are being converted into flash data. Why? So that we can divert them back to the original page and still have the validation errors. So check this out folks, right? I'm going to not enter a quantity and look at that, the error has appeared on the page, the item quantity field is required, and everything is super cool, yes. Thank you, thank you very much indeed. Now, that's what happens when things go wrong, but what about when things go right? Well, it's remarkably simple. We are gonna redirect them 
to the cart controller. We've already started on a cart controller. Let's bring it together. Let's bring it to life. So we're going to redirect to cart. Let's open up the cart controller, right? And we'll build a thing called index function index like this. And index shall bear a striking, I keep borrowing from store items, why not, do you know what I mean? It looks good and it seems to work, so I'll copy some stuff from store items, and that's the vibe that we're looking for. These are the vibes you are looking for. I'm going to change the view file to cart, okay, and when someone adds an item and it goes, everything is cool, it goes well, it's taking them to the cart controller, right? And it's looking for a file called cart.php. Okay, that's the vibe, cart.php. Now in cart.php, I'm gonna do an H1 and I'm gonna say your shopping, you can call it cart or basket, I'll call it basket, right? Here we go. So there we are, yes indeed, thank you very much. Now I'm gonna do a little query here query and it's going to be called uh, something like <laughs> I'll make it private and I'll call it fetch cart contents okay and this is going to take in a session ID but it's also going to take in a shopper ID and it's going to take in a table Okay, and everybody's looking, thinking, what, you, what the hell this is all about? He's gone too far this time. I know that's what you're thinking, you know, you're all thinking he has gone too far this time. I have not gone too far this time. Stay cool. Look, this is how it's all going to work. It's going to be fantastic, Ola. I'll explain everything, right? We do a little function here, and it's called fetch cart contents. Okay, what does that do? Fetch the contents of the shopping cart. Now what's the deal with the session IDs, the shopper IDs and the table? Well, I shall tell you the deal. Do you remember back on store basket? Okay, we had a thing called test actually, I think it's still here and we said that the session ID is that, right? I'm going to copy that and bring it across. We now know the session ID. And do you remember we also said that we can figure out the shopper ID as well? We have two ways of remembering who everybody is. Session ID and shopper ID. Now remember folks, the shopper ID, if they are not logged in, the shopper ID will be null. And that's not too cool. So I'm going to say, if not is numeric shopper ID, then the shopper ID equals zero. Everything cool? Can you handle the vibe? And then lastly, we've got this vibe called table, okay? And the table is going to be store basket. Now, why on earth am I doing the table thing in there? Why even mention table? I'll give you the answer in just a minute. But the vibe is, when we are fetching the content from the cart, I'm going to do a custom query. Now, to do a custom query, I need to uh, reference a module that has got a working model folder. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say this load module and we'll go with store basket, okay? And it's just so that I can do a custom query, folks. That's all it is, right? And I'll say my SQL query equals select. Now, hold on a second. If, let me bring this up, if the shopper ID is greater than zero, then what we're going to do is select all from table uh, where shopper ID equals, it's numeric, we don't need quotes, equals shopper ID. Now what does that mean? Well. If someone logs in and they are a customer and they've logged in and they put some stuff in the cart, they can close the window, head out, have a nice meal, have a dance, do the Lindy hop, tell a few jokes, come back and it will still remember the stuff that was in the cart. It's the coolest vibe ever, okay? However, if the customer is not logged in, 
then it's a different query. In that case, the query is going to be select all from table where session ID is session ID. Okay, so there we go. And I'm just going to run this custom query. Again, I'm borrowing the thing on store basket so that I can do this. We cannot do this on cart because there's no MySQL stuff here. And I'm just going to return the query. Okay, so we have the cart contents. Yes, indeed, we have the cart contents. It's very, very awesome. So now that we have the cart contents, we can uh, count the number of items in the cart. And I'm saying count, but it's hardly like a big deal. All we do is we say data num rows equals data query num rows. That's the vibe, okay? That's the vibe. This is very, very cool indeed, okay? Now, one of the things that I'm going to have on this page that I think you'll like is a little showing statement. So again, private thing, you know, get showing uh, statement. And we'll do something like this. We'll take in the num items, okay? And I'll say something like if the number of items is one, then the showing statement is going to be you have uh, one item in your shopping basket. Okay, uh, that's probably that. However, if they have, uh, if they have more than one, the showing statement is going to be you have num items, okay, items in your shopping basket, and then we're going to return the showing statement like so, okay. So that's all looking good and we're pretty well prepared here. So we can jump into the view file and we can say if num rows is less than one, then echo you currently have no items in your shopping basket. Okay, so that's what they get if they've got an empty basket. However, if they have a, a, a thing with items, we'll say echo showing statement. And it's going to say you have blankety blank items or whatever it's going to be, right? Something like that and something like that, okay? Now, uh, PHP's not happy, so that should do the job. Okay, so that should be good. Let's test this. Here we go. I'll go back to the home page. Uh, I'll go to this uh, nice Jimi Hendrix thing. One set where session ID. Now, hold on. Uh, unknown column. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Okay, I've made a mistake. I apologize, I apologize, select all from table where session ID, ah right, that should be in quotations, I apologize for that folks. Actually, while we're on the subject of mistakes, I made another mistake that I should have mentioned. Previously, I had this down as 35 or something like that, that was a mistake. Session IDs are quite big, uh, I can't remember the exact length, but I'm changing it to 64. It's something that could change in the future. So please, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> please change the session ID to 64, okay? I'm sorry. Is that okay? It was just a little mistake. Won't happen again. All right. Here we go again. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, your cha. Oh, your cha. Okay. Undefined variable showing statement. Line six. Okay. And uh, we can handle that. And the showing, well of course we've not got the showing statement, here we go, data showing statement is this, get showing statement and we're passing in data num rows, okay, yes, thank you very much indeed, that is why they call me the web developer extraordinaire, thank you very much indeed, you are so welcome. So, 
let's now get the shopping cart rocking, okay? And I'm going to do something that will seem a little bit strange to you folks. I'm going to go echo modules run. Uh, and then I'm going to say cart draw cart contents. And I'm going to pass in the query object. And I'm also going to pass in uh, a user type, actually. And by the way, I am completely making this up as I'm going along here. The reason I'm passing in a user type is because I want to do this cart contents thing and reuse this at the back end system when the site owner's doing this stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'll say that the user type is public here. Okay, and we're going to have a thing called draw cart contents. Now, query user type, that's good. Here we go, up here. Draw cart contents, query user type. And I'll just leave a little note, right? User type can be public or admin, right? So both of them can use this. And by the way, I was saying a minute ago, that the reason why I'm adding table in here is because after you've gone through the checkout process, it's going to transfer the stuff from store basket into another table. And I want the site owner to be able to reuse this stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm doing this here. Stay cool. It's all going to make much more sense later on. So here we go. I'm just going to say uh, something like if user type is equivalent to public then view file is going to be something like cart contents public okay otherwise the view file is going to be cart contents admin all right and then we just say this load oh sorry this load view and that's going to be the view file and we are passing in this query thing here, which is going to be something like that. Okay, so if we just now go into the views here, and I'm going to make cart contents public. Here we go. Cart contents public. Okay. Here it is here. And uh, we'll make up a nice little table, shall we? And we'll make up a row, something like that. And the vibe is we'll have a thing where it's like a pick here, you know, an item pick, right? Picture of the item. And then we'll have uh, some text here. And then we'll have probably a price here, you know, uh, a kind of subtotal, something like that. And then right at the very bottom, we'll have a vibe that's something like, uh, let me just have a think here, probably something like this. Uh, if we do TD call span equals two, uh, and then we'll have a thing that says total, and then we'll have the grand total here. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So style equals text align right. That's pretty much how I want this to look. Uh, I can obviously make it look nicer. Class equals table, table striped, uh, table, I think we can do bordered. Um, that's kind of the, the general vibe. Now it's probably going to forget what was in the basket here, right? Okay, there you go. I thought that might happen. Remember that session variables have kind of a limited uh, shelf life, you know? So that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, if we do that, you can see the general layout that we're going for here. Okay? Folks, I've just looked at the clock and I've realized that's 20 minutes. I'm, I'm trying to keep these videos at 20 minutes, so if you'll forgive me, I think we'll take a little break there. Go gra grab a cup of tea or do what you need to do. We'll finish this in the next video, okay? See you soon. Bye.